Welcome back to Conversation to Close. This is Sean. And I want to do a quick video just showing the actual step by step process for using Deal Sniper for some of the newer people who may be having a little bit of issue. So, first and foremost, make sure you're signed in to whatever platform you're using Zillow, Redfin, Realtor, doesn't matter. Make sure you're signed in so you can see all the information. So, first thing I want to do is I want to go through what filters I use for properties. So, price. You know, if you want to set this, you absolutely can. Don't go any higher than about $350,000. Okay. Bed, bathroom doesn't matter. Home type doesn't matter. Here's the other filters you want to, you want to work on. Leave your bedrooms and bathrooms open. Leave the type open. Coming soon, you don't need that. What you really need is time on Redfin. Okay. And let's do more than 90 days. All right. And then again, the rest of these filters, if you're doing something like reverse wholesaling or something like that, you can absolutely, new constructions we don't need, you can absolutely um, you know, tailor this to what you're looking for. But if you're looking for just anything, then here's what you should do. So I've got 484 homes that I can send offers to with these parameters. So let's just do this first one. All right. So I want to look for a couple of things. Is the property vacant or staged? Obviously, we can tell this property is vacant. Why is that important? Because chances are, if this property is vacant, then the seller doesn't need the proceeds from the selling of this house in order to put a, let's say, a down payment on another house, which would very likely be the case if this house was listed, but still currently occupied by the owner. A lot of times they need the money from the sale in order to buy another house and move. So if the house is vacant or staged, you don't have to worry about that, which means that it'll be a higher probability that they'll take a creative financing offer. So all I want to do, copy the address, take it over to Deal Sniper. Uh, we'll do a whole new one. Scope out my deal, deal sniper. Okay, so there's the property. It's been on market for 89 days. They have it listed for 344,000. Always assume there's no mortgage unless you happen to know for a fact that there is one. <clears throat> and then clean these up. So we're gonna offer 383,900. Nah, we'll just do 380,000. And then for the down payment, we'll just do 355,000. I'm sorry, for the seller finance. The next number you want to change is the monthly payment. $768.41. What is that? Let's do seven, not 7,000, do 700. So if you look over here, that's a lot cleaner than what it was before. And the reason why you want to clean it up is because this portion of Deal Sniper, Deal Sniper is an amazing tool. It'll even scrub data in non disclosure states and give it to you. So it's an amazing tool, but this part of Deal Sniper is just a calculator. So it's going to give you the all the way down to the dollars and cents, just like a calculator does. And when it does that, it looks like a calculator did it. It doesn't look like a person did it. So if you want the real estate agent to take your offer seriously, clean it up. Okay? So once you have this, all I'm going to do, actually, I don't have to do that. Just copy, take it over to a blank email, and let's paste that in there. Now, the next thing I want to do, I have to get the realtor's information, right? So let's go back to the property and we're going to scroll down just a bit and looky, looky. Listed by Elizabeth Sherry from Caldwell Banker. Now, she doesn't have her phone number listed. She doesn't have her email address listed. So what you want to do is highlight it, Google search for this one. And look at this. There it is. So what you're going to do is you're going to give the uh, the phone number, give it a call, reach out to her and say, hey, may I speak to Elizabeth? Hi, Elizabeth. This is Sean. I'd like to submit an offer for 8732 North Biscay Place in Tucson, but I don't see your email address anywhere. Can you please text that to this number that I just called you from? I'd like to get you this offer by the end of the day. Thank you so much. That's it. If they want to ask you questions, tell them. Don't hide anything. Oh, what kind of offer are you submitting? Full disclosure, I'm sitting in a creative financing offer. 
do you think your client would be open to that? It's it's pretty generous. I think I'm like twenty five, thirty thousand dollars over asking right now. No, they're not really looking at seller financing. They're more interested in just cash. Oh, you know what? No harm, no foul. Good luck. Have a great day. And then you move on to the next property. But if it doesn't go, oh yeah, sure. Here's my email address. You get the email address. You go back to the email. You put it in. Uh, let's see. Uh, it's, it's making this harder to make stuff up. And then here you put offer for. I mean, you can keep it super easy. And then you put the realtor's name here before you send it. Don't forget to do that. It'll make you look real stupid if you don't do that. Put the realtor's name here. Put your contact information here. And then you hit send. That's it. Now, there are some times. Let me see if I can find one. So let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of Elizabeth. Let's go to the house next door. And let's scroll down a little bit. So this one is listed by Peter. Again, no phone number, no nothing. So just highlight this, right click, Google search. Look at that, phone number and email address, which is usually what it is. Sometimes it's hit or miss. Sometimes you can call them. You have to call them to get their email address. Sometimes it'll just be there. So boom, copy. Paste. Put Peter's name here. Put your name here. And then make sure, obviously, you know, change the, you know, the, the, to the actual offer for this property instead. How long has this one been on market? Let's take a look at it. Why not? I'm here. So you go back up to Deal Sniper, go to search. Been on market for 89 days at 335800 Assume that there's no mortgage. Let's clean up our numbers. So it looks like they want to offer 370 and some change. So we'll do, oops. Oh, that's what you guys were talking about. Okay, that's good to know. So here's what happens. You got to hit refresh. When you do that and delete the whole thing, I guess there is a bug. And it's been coming up in the Discord a lot. And I, I never understood what anyone was talking about because it never came up for me. So if you, let's test it again, delete the entire thing, it does that. Looks like it doesn't want you submitting offers for zero money down or for no purchase price. So in the meantime, just don't do the whole thing. 370,000, uh, I'm just gonna change that into zero. Monthly payment, $819, nope, just 800. $26,000 down payment. Boom. There's your offer. So there's your offer. There's Peter's contact information, including his email address. You send the email out and you're done. Hopefully that answered your question on step-by-step -step how to submit an offer using Deal Sniper. I'm going to do another one right now and I am not going to be teaching and there's not going to be a whole lot of talking in this one because I want to see exactly how long it takes. So let's time it. Let me go ahead and get rid of that. Let me get rid of this because that one's already done. Let's do this one. Let's pick it up. Oh, that, well, it's got a nice floor. Okay. Copy the address. Go to Deal Sniper. Search. Scoping it out. 92 days on market for 152200 Do we have a mortgage? No. 175 Oh, that's even. 175 Cool. Look at that. 162 Good. Monthly payment, just 600 <clears throat> Here is my offer. Copy. Paste. Let's see if the realtor information is listed. It is, I mean, it is, but not the contact information. Google search. <clears throat> Where are you at?
Okay, so Tracy Martin. And you know what? Oh, you know what I'm going to do? You guys can copy this if you want. I'm not going to do her full name. I'm going to do, hey, Tracy. Now oh, we've got to invent a little bit. Okay. Stop it. Okay. And then now we need contact info. <clears throat> oh, this is even better. Well, don't do that. Don't do that. So in this situation, I have to call Tracy. So I'm going to simulate the phone call. Okay. So in that, you're, this is what you're saying again. Hi, Tracy. This is Sean. I'm trying to put in an offer on 5849 West Bar X Street in Tucson. You're listening. I can't see your email address anywhere, and I'd like to get this to you by the end of the day. Can you text this number, your email address? Done. So I get the email address. And then offer for. Copy that, <clears throat> paste, send, done. I don't know, what did that take? Three minutes? <clears throat> call it five minutes with the phone call. And you don't have to do the phone call. You can text, text them. Hey, Tracy, this is Sean. I'm getting ready to put in an offer on your property on West Bar X Street, but I don't have your email address. Can you text that to me, please? Done. I mean, her cell phone's right here. So when you're using Deal Sniper, it's very simple. Get the address of a listed property, set your filters, okay? And there's only a couple you have to worry about. This one is optional. You, you don't have to do this one here. I do this one here just to show you guys that it's possible. You don't have to. Really, the only thing that matters is this one here, okay? Once you have that set, you pick your property, you put it in a deal sniper, clean up your numbers, copy and paste into an email, get the realtor information. The realtor information will always be in the same spot. In the about me section of the house, because the realtor wrote this, here's a whole different one right here. Sometimes their email address and phone number will be listed here, sometimes it won't. Do not use this, okay? Do not use this. This on Zillow, Redfin, whatever. This is trying to get you to sign up with a buyer's agent that is represented by Redfin. You don't need to do that. You need the listing agent, which is this one here. So I hope that answered your questions. If you have any other questions, shoot me a comment, shoot me a DM. Drop a like on this video. I appreciate it. Have a great rest of your day.